Hey guys, Samantha here and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about all things pregnancy pillows. There are basically two types of pregnancy pillows that you can purchase, a U-shaped and a C-shaped. I've been using both pillows throughout my pregnancy. I have both pillows that I've been using linked in the description below. It is my Amazon affiliate link so it doesn't cost you guys anything extra but it does help the channel out. So both of the pillows that I purchased are from the brand Farmidoc and it says that they are filled with the highest quality polyfill and the cover is the softest jersey knit cotton, which I can't agree with. The first pillow that I'm going to be talking about is the Farmidoc U-shaped pillow. It retails for $43 and it is huge. <laughs> so um, if you have a queen size bed, I don't know if this would be the best option. It's like literally having another person in your bed with you. So what I really love about this U-shaped pillow is how the contour for your back is super comfortable, super firm, but still squishy and gives you a lot of support throughout the night. So this is how you want to get into the pillow. I just lift the detachable side up and climb in, making myself comfortable. This pillow is also great for back sleepers, training themselves to sleep on their sides. When you want to switch sides in the middle of the night, it is extremely easy to just flip over. I think if you're a taller woman, that the U-shape would probably be better for you just because it's a larger pillow in general versus the C-shaped, which I'm about to show you. And also, if you're too tall for it to support your knees and ankles, you can also lay in it like this. So the cons that I found with this pillow is first, how you wash both of these. <laughs> it's a pain in the butt trying to get this jersey knit cover back on the pillow. And also I've read that you should wash them in a mesh bag because a lot of the stitching has actually came apart and also the zipper has broke. So then you'll have to buy a another cover. Another thing I really don't like about this pillow specifically is this detachable zipper. To me, it's just annoying and awkward in the middle of the night when you're trying to sleep. I also feel like it isn't really a true U-shaped pillow being almost identical on both sides. When I do switch to my other side in the middle of the night, it's not as comfortable and supportive because of this piece versus this nice cushiony side. Because of that reason alone, I wouldn't recommend the Farmidoc U-shaped pillow just because of that weird detachable zipper. For my next pregnancy or someone trying to buy a U-shaped pillow, I think the Queen Rose, which retails for $52, would be an awesome option. And it is like a true U-shaped pillow being mostly identical on both sides. So the next pillow that I'm gonna talk about is the Farmidoc C-shaped pillow. It also retails for $43, and this pillow is just amazing. I love this pillow. I think that it's firmer than the U-shaped one, and it just offers me tremendous lower back and hip support throughout the night. I wake up feeling refreshed, and when I'm trying to get comfortable in bed, it really helps. For the C-shaped pillow, you wanna enter with your back facing the contoured portion of the pillow. So right here, and I just kind of open it up a little bit, the tail. Make sure it's nice on my back, supporting my bump. And then I either use another pillow for my head or I just use this as the pillow. You can also use the C-shaped pillow to prop yourself up to watch TV or even nurse your baby when that time comes. I also like to use this pillow to prop my feet up for some extra support in bed when I want to read a book. Also, with the C-shaped pillow, your partner can love on you more than the U-shaped, so that is a plus if that's what you're wanting. <laughs> you're not supposed to use the pillow. <laughs> So the main cons for this pillow would be, again, washing it. It's just such a struggle to get that um, jersey knit cover back on the pillow once you're done. 
So when I was reading reviews on both pillows, the biggest con for the C-shaped pillow was that you literally have to like lug it over your shoulder like a sack of potatoes when you want to switch sides in the middle of the night. Granted, I'm short enough to where I don't really have to do that, but if you're taller than like 5'2", then you probably will. So I'm on this side. I'm sleeping peacefully, but you know what? I think I want to switch over to my left side. So I throw my tail and I kind of get up. I gotta flip it over. And now I can sleep on my left side. But for me personally, like I said, I'm pretty short. So when I switch sides in the middle of the night, I just kick the tail out and switch. So when I switch sides in the middle of the night, I usually just do it like that. I'm not like moving the whole pillow over. So um, it stays comfortable for me. And like I said, I'm short enough to where it still supports my knees, my back, my bump, and my neck. Another con to this pillow would be how you get out of bed in the middle of the night for the hundredth time to go use the restroom. You literally have to like channel your inner high school track star um, to get out of bed. And let me demonstrate. Half the time will roll backwards and it just takes a lot out of me so excuse the heavy breathing in advance Let's say I'm sleeping on this side I literally have to get the roly-poly going and I'm able to get up it's very hard being pregnant so overall, between the two pillows, I prefer the C-shaped pillow. I just think it contours to my body better and offers me greater support and alignment throughout the night. So I hope this video was helpful to y'all, and I would love to know in the comments below what pregnancy pillow you ladies found and fell in love with during your pregnancy. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for new videos that I post every Sunday. And also follow me on Instagram at Samantha C. Benavides for some more pregnancy tips. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.